Good morning, Christopher. So this morning I decided to wake up and uh, do something I have never done with this car. And it was to help me figure out what kind of condition it is in. Uh, last night I looked up a hack on how to get into a Mustang without a key. And sure enough, there's a pretty easy way to do it. It's to open up the hatch. So I had to pop the back lock out, which was pretty easy since it's rotted all around here. Um, but I wanted to take a look at the whole car overall to see if it is something you want or not. So let's walk around. The inside actually is pretty decent. Uh, just the way you left it 15 years ago, it appears. Got a nice neon light that does not work. Um, I did check it in my car. Walking around on this side, we were able to roll the windows down. Well, hello, Emery. Um, however, the passenger door does not open. Um, I know you said something about these being disconnected. I tried popping the lock up. It did come up, but then the cap came off. Um, but even using the interior door latch, you can hear it unlocking or unlatching, but it doesn't want to. But the sad part is, uh, once we got in and you saw the rust underneath the car, uh, when I went to put these seats up for the first time in 15 plus years, um, I was trying to move this seat forward, the front seat forward, and as you can tell, uh, that's a hard way to tell, but the whole thing moves. And down there, it is just to the ground. There is no floor. Uh, the front, I didn't check this front because they can't get in it because of the door. Uh, but I know the front on the other side is rock solid. Um, however, I noticed the same part is pretty loose um, underneath the driver's seat. Walking around to the front, looks just as beautiful as the day you did the custom job of ripping the motor out and all that funness. Uh, driver's side door was able to get open. Windows cranked down, no problem. Um, door unlocked, and we can only open it using the interior latch. Um, again, Emery is sitting in the seat. Here, jump out for a second. As you can see at the bottom here, it's very loose. The whole seat's loose. Uh, my guess is the rear part. Yeah, you can hear it. rotted but other than that I mean the seats pretty decent uh, they could use a good cleaning they're dusty there's kind of stinky but there's not really much mold I didn't wipe anything down uh, after getting into it so you can see they actually held up pretty decent on the inside uh, I had to teach the kids about that release button under there because they were saying we can't get the keys out can't get the keys out but we have the keys for uh, rocks mustang so anyways uh continuing around the other side these are no good and this weighs about a thousand pounds to hold it up so i use the axe to hold it up but that's that uh let me know what you think like i said if you want i can try to post it online sell it um i told tiffany we could cut it in half and turn it into a camper she said no she wants it out of here so we'll figure it out. You let me know what you want to do with it. Uh, we'll go from there. All right. See ya.